Ron Atchison for AutoForge.net, and today I've got Jason Brennan from Rupes in the shop, and we've gone through the different polishers that Rupes manufactures, and we've identified some really deep, heavy scratches in the front corner of this hood, and Jason recommends that that's a very good spot to do a just a basically a spot enhancement on this area, and he's going to be showcasing how to do it using the rotary machine and a wool pad. So I know that we're not wanting to try and remove those because we'd just remove too much paint if we did that. Correct, correct. So basically what we're looking to do is just enhance those so that they're not quite as noticeable as they are. And But they're in a very dangerous area because you've got this raised edge here that you could possibly burn or the edge of the fender or the edge of the hood. Yeah, absolutely. So rotaries can be scary for some people and there's a reason for that. They're very aggressive. So if we're looking at a rotary tool, that basically came out of a angle grinder tool. So it's meant to grind. It's really only been adapted for polishing by putting a, a, a buffing pad on it. Right. And you are correct. So we've got this curve here, so we want to keep the buffing pad away from that curve. We don't want to dig into it. And anywhere that there's an edge of a panel, like the hood and the fender, if one of them's higher than the other, you could burn through the paint. Um, also to touch on what you said, yeah, these scratches are, are uh, well, I don't even know what caused these. These are very random and very deep. Uh, but we want to make it look better. Uh, we're not going to completely remove this because we probably would go right down to the metal of the hood. So we're going to do what I would say is a improve, not remove. We're going to try right. and make it look a little bit better. And because the efficiency of the rotary tool, that'll be a little bit faster than some DA applications. So right. we can tape it off and we'll, we'll go through the process. Yeah. One tip that you can do when you're going to be using a rotary next to the edge of a panel is to put some masking tape on there so that like you were saying, if one panel sits a little bit higher than the other, just a nice little strip of masking tape like that will protect those edges so that you don't burn the paint off of them. That still gives you plenty of room to work with your machine. Yep, and then we got to be conscious of the edge of the pad. Um, a DA polisher, we want to keep that, the polisher flat on the surface. We want the entire face of the pad. Here with the rotary, we're going to tend to, to tilt this up on edge a little bit to guide the tool. But we want to be conscious of where we're pushing. So on here, it's going to be this edge. So we don't want to bring the tool this way and burn up onto the edge. So this particular pad you're using is the rotary wool? Yes, this is our cut and finish. So this is a very good uh, balance of something that's going to cut and remove defects and finish out fairly well. Um, we could have went with a twisted wool, which would be very, very aggressive. But we're trying to preserve paint, and we want a little bit better finish. So. I'm kind of going with a little bit middle of the road option here as far as and a pad. So then for for a compound, you're using the blue rotary course that matches the blue pad. Yes. So okay. in our in our chemicals and compounds, we do have different uh, products for rotary as opposed to DA. Okay. The formulations are actually different. A lot of people look and say, oh, they're both blue. Um, they're not the same product. The properties in the rotary are a little bit different than what you'll find in the DA. And then, so your rotary line is always going to be this gray label. Yes. The DA line will be the black. So they're, even though they both have a blue top on them, they're, it's very easy to see. Yep. And it'll be identified as rotary. The one thing that will be similar is the cutting is blue and the finishing uh, is going to be the yellow fine. So the color works the same in both product lines. Blue coarse, yellow will be fine. So that is, at least the color coding is the same. Okay. So I'm going to start this up. I'm going to use a low speed just to spread the compound out a little bit and then I'm going to kick the speed up and start polishing. So I'm not going to use a lot of pressure. I'm going to let the, the pad and the tool do the work. And I'm just going to guide the tool gently.
So that was what, speed three and a half? Yeah, I kicked that up to about, yeah, th yeah roughly three and a half. Now, as you noticed, there was a little bit of bounce. Right. Um, the, the product was very um, choppy and draggy. That's usually going to be indicative that the paint is dry. So it's creating a little bit of drag as we run the polisher. Um, but we've got <laughs> about 30 to 45 seconds. We've got some cut. We've taken some scratches out, and we've certainly enhanced the gloss. Yeah, some of these are still here, but they are they are so random and I can deep. Hear, I can hear your fingernail catching yeah. it. So, But <clears throat> a lot of them are gone, and what is still there you're not going to get rid of. Yeah, when you can but, feel it with your fingernail and you don't want to chase that, you're going to end up going down to the base coat or further. But they don't stand out like a sore thumb now like they did before. So. Correct, correct. So for the age of the truck and the condition of the rest of it, it actually looks, looks great. All right, did a fantastic job. Yeah, the rotary is going to be the most efficient as far as cut in most cases. They're going to be more aggressive, so they will remove scr scratches faster. But that also is a caveat of it's not as safe. Um, could do some damage with the rotary if you're not careful. Well, best thing to do if you don't have an old vehicle like this to practice on, go to the junkyard, get a hood. Practice 100%. if you really want to learn to use a rotary. But it is it is a tool that you should have in your arsenal if you're going to be working on stuff with heavy defects and you want to work a little bit uh, quicker, a little bit more efficient, and remove the, the scratches faster. A rotary is a great tool for that. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you found the video informative. If you would like to learn any more information on Rupees tools, just click on the link below. I'll have a link to all the products we used. For Ron Atchison, Good friend Jason Brennan from Rupes. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.